Life-saving station number 10 In 1876 The appointed first keeper was Christopher Crisp For six days a week led by Crisp's iron will With their boats and equipment The Lifesavers drilled In August 96 The Phineas S. Marsh a schooner with a cargo of limestone blocks The storm blew her to shallows She was attacked by the waves But Crisp's crew went out And all lives were saved The lighthouse stands alone On Superior's shore The lifesavers are now part of Great Lakes lore Out on lonely Crisp Point the sun sets for the day on the light that once led ships to Whitefish Bay. When the shipping lanes opened in 1904, a new lighthouse shined on Superior's shore. A fixed 360 beam, a fourth order light showed the way between Unising and Whitefish Point. The freighter Neshoto in 1908, downbound on Superior, iron ore was its freight. Lost her way in the smoke that blew out from the land, the crew was rescued when the ship sailed up on the sand. The lighthouse stands alone on Superior's shore The lifesavers are now part of Great Lakes lore Out on Lonely Crisp Point The sun sets for the day On the light that once led ships to Whitefish Bay Today on Crisp Point the lifesavers gone in 1965, the building's torn down. But on lonely Crisp Point, she stands there alone, and the Crisp Point lighthouse points the way home. The lighthouse stands alone on Superior's shore, the lifesavers are now part of Great Lakes lore. Out on Lonely Crisp Point, the sun sets for the day On the light that once led ships to Whitefish Bay